So what is Property Filter? Property Filter is the online platform where all the deals are. We've spent hundreds of thousands of pounds building the most comprehensive property database in the UK and today we give you access to it. It's the equivalent of having all the property portals all in one place, enriched with our proprietary engine that matches and merges millions of data points so you can find deals in seconds. Absolutely everything is there. That's why you don't need to look anywhere else and it's how we find all the motivated sellers, most properties full address, quick and quality leads, just to give you a few examples, properties that are for sale as well as to rent listed with multiple agents fallen through or about to fall through we then give you the step-by-step -step process for you to turn all these good leads into great deals as well as deals where nobody else is looking and this is just to name a few and for us it's all about your results it's all about the deals we are on a mission to empower property people just like you to find a thousand deal this year alone property filter is in a category of its own because it's where all the deals are and it's the only tool out there 100% dedicated to empowering you excel at finding deals it's simple and easy to use and it gives you potential deals in seconds and you can ask any of our members when it comes to getting you deals it's above anything you might have seen or heard of before there is nothing quite like it to give you the results you want in your business and your life i encourage you to watch the demo in full and stick until the end as i share some exclusive members only bonuses at the end to show you how you can find amazing deals where nobody else is looking over the past years, we've studied success in property. I've interviewed more than 400 of the most seasoned property professionals in the country, and we have distilled all of this into the Property Filter Code. We discovered that finding deals is the number one skill you need to develop in this game. And if you don't excel at finding deals to start with, it's a non-starter, quite frankly. And actually, with the right tool and system, your success in property can be very predictable. I could be sitting here looking at the world-class property database that we've built and be the data guy telling you to follow the data, to take data informed decisions, but the truth is that it's not how property works. We've discovered that property is a people's business and it's a numbers game. It's a people business because you want to be buying properties from motivated sellers, from people that are frustrated with the sale of their property and just want it done and over with. The data will give you average performance of an area, but you want to be buying above performing assets. The data will make you procrastinate, will trap you in analysis paralysis, and quite frankly, can be irrelevant. In this game, you want to be the anomaly in the data. Remember, you make money when you buy, and you want to be buying property from motivated sellers. And yes, it's a numbers game. The thing is, 90% of properties out there are a waste of time. Property Filter will empower you to focus on the motivated seller's potential deals, the needles in the A stacks, but from there on, the deals are in the follow-up. Most investors and sourcers waste their time on doing the wrong viewings, they are misorganized and live in a state of overwhelm. They are missing out on deals all the time and struggle to get traction toward their property goals. Here we give you a step-by-step -step framework, a blueprint to funnel and transform all these good leads into great deals and make sure you never miss a follow-up. Property is a people business and it's a numbers game. It's why the two main aspects of Property Filter are built around these principles. Your lead generators is where you find motivated sellers and your sourcing pipeline is where you transform all these good leads into great deals. Let's first look at your lead generators. Imagine you had 5, 10, 20 or more team members working for you 24-7, finding potential deals that match your criteria. It's effectively what you get here. Every one of those blue cards here is a machine, a bot that works for you while you sleep and with an unmatched consistency and predictability. Each lead generator is like a safe search that runs itself 24-7. Each lead generator is a combination of an area and a strategy. We've prepared for you quite a few templates so you can set them up quite easily. And you'll see when you sign up, you know, it's quite intuitive and we have tons of resources to uh, help you with it. Behind each lead generator, it's uh, its own leads uh, inbox. So let's, uh, let's have a look uh, how it looks. On the top right here, you've got the total available properties as well as the total sole subject to contract properties that match your criteria. All of this is live with the market and pulls it from every possible source on the internet. So you don't have to look anywhere else outside of property filter ever. But where do we start? Most investors out there randomly book viewings based on the pictures and the layout, only to find themselves queuing at viewings where the vendor is not motivated, wasting their time on properties that are never going to turn into deals and missing out on deals all the time. In contrast with property filter, you go straight to the motivated seller. And you do this by using the motivated seller banner on the top left here, where amongst what's available, we filter for those potential deals that have fallen through, are back on the market, as well as were reduced. Then those that have fallen through, back on the market, but not necessarily reduced. Those that have been reduced, those that have been on the market since a long time, and you can decide what is a long time for you. Those that were newly listed, uh, so you don't miss out on any, any new uh, properties. And my favorite, uh, those that have been sold subject to contracts since a long time. 
Use the motivated seller banner to focus your effort and resources on the best leads. If you are going to have five or 10 conversations with agents or vendors anyway this week, you might as well have them with the ones that are the most motivated. So when we look at the property detail view, let's look at this one for example, the first thing you'll see is the price and status history where the blue line is the price history and the background is the availability status where green is available, amber is all subject to contract, and red means the property has been withdrawn or sold. This is how you find that the price has been reduced and sometimes multiple times, or that the sale has fallen through and sometimes multiple times, like here where we see a green following amber a couple of times, so in this period of time this was sold subject to contract, dropped the price a couple of times, available, sold subject to contract another time, then back on the market, and interestingly in this case they increased the price. On the top here you can see uh, if the property has been listed with multiple agents, so we see that there were this particular listing here going back to April, and then another listing here. Uh, with another agent going back November last year. To the left here, you might have noticed quite a bit of due diligence has been done for you with the full address found in most cases, the square meterage of the property. Here we have the current and potential EPC with the full details here built in for you uh, within the app. And then something that's often overlooked uh, in the uh, uh, EPC certificate is uh, all the insulation details, uh, double glazing or not, the type of heating, all these things we, we've built in here so you've got uh, access to it. Here you've got the, the construction age and quite a few of the local amenities that you can find again uh, on the map here on the, on the right. So you can see here all of these are, are plotted here. Then we've got ownership information here with company details when it's owned by a company. Uh, so this one is privately owned. Let's see if I can find one. I think I had one uh, the other day uh, that might be owned by a company. Here we go, so uh, on this one we've got the direct link to company's house. Here we go, so we've got the link directly to, you know, like uh, the, uh, the, o the owner, the directors, etc. Uh, and then for leasehold properties, what you, what you will see is an additional tile here where you'll see the number of years left uh, on the lease, etc, uh, etc. Et uh, let's go back to the property we were looking at, I think that was the one. And finally at the bottom, uh, so we'll have here information about uh, restrictive covenant, so it will tell you if we have uh, traces that there is a restrictive covenant you will know, uh, then you will know if your property is in or out of an article 4 area, and you can as well display these here, so you'll see that this one is right uh, at the exit of this uh, article 4 area. And finally, we've got deal calculator here where you can stack the deal. So let's say we're going to buy this one as a, as a buy to let. So we can use one of the templates. We can look at multiple exits. Uh, so what happens if we uh, buy this property at uh, you know, market value, for example, or uh, if we get it for a little bit below. You've got your uh, deposit here, some uh, loan fees and a few costs, the kind of, kind of rent uh, you might get. And again, you'll have to look you know, for your area or you will stack it, then your, your mortgage and cost. And very quickly here you can see your, your main thing. So what's going to be your ROI as a buy to let, the cash you need for the project, etc. Then you can look at multiple exits. So we can duplicate this, uh, call this exit two or option two, give it another name, and then see what happens if you buy it at a, at a different price. And in this case, you can compare uh, your exit one, exit two, what's going to be your, your cash flow for one property or another, etc. It works for HMOs, it works for SA, you can stack these. We've got lots of training that covers, uh, covers that. So let's go back to our leads inbox and let's have a look at our uh, property card layout here. So on the top here, it will tell you how long has it been available for or how long has it been back on the market for, how much was it reduced or sometimes increased for. Uh, all of this is live with the market. You've got your uh, main picture here. Below you'll have your... Uh, asking price, the asking price per square meter or square foot. Then you've got your property type and then here we have the full address in most cases. So you see here one, two, three, four, five out of six. It's kind of the average we get. We get anything between 60, 70 percent of the full address which are found for you. It just depends on, on the postcode and you, you know, you'll see when the full address is here. And further down here, you'll have information about the Verify EPC, the square meterage, the price difference since last sold. So this is how you get all the important information in seconds. So as you find the full address for most properties, this is where you can go direct to vendor with property filter. So if we look at those properties that are sold subject to contracts since a long time, so this is where our members have been filling their boots in the, in the past few months. There are two schools of thought with this. So personally, I would always advocate to go and work with the agent, play the long game, build a relationship with them so that uh, ultimately they send you deals uh, your way. But equally, it's very hard. Sometimes some uh, are not uh, interested. So what you can do is click a button here. For example, if we want to extract all the addresses of those properties that match our criteria that have been sold subject to contracts since a long time, we can click a button here 
and this is where you get the list of all the addresses postcode and some information about the property you can link back to uh, the property listing here this is where you can use this to mail merge uh, your uh, addresses and do your uh, mailing campaign a bit, uh, offline for now so with these properties that are sole subject to contracts since a long time, so it's a really good strategy. Our members have been filling their boots uh, with it in the last few months. We know that 30 to 40% of sale will fall through. So the longer we leave uh, properties that are sole subject to contract for, the more likely they are to fall through. So we can contact uh, the vendor there, you know, either the agent directly or the, the vendor with uh, the letters here and and buy a deal so you can send them letters that goes like this congratulations for the sale of your property we hope that everything goes well if something were to happen with your buyer we are desperate to buy properties on your street we buy properties at market value and market value is whatever you pay for it so it's a very clever hook we can save you agent fees and we complete in your time scale you are in control please call this number blah blah blah, blah and that works quite well you know the phone rings and as you can see on the left menu here, we've got a direct to vendor campaign uh, uh, module where you'll be able to click a button, send letters uh, directly through the app. So I'll share this with you in due course. So with the lead generators, I've shown you how to set and forget your criteria, go straight to the motivated sellers. And the last aspect is you want to take a decision on every lead. Today, your competition is scrolling through the portals, trying to memorize all of right moves so that when they go back tomorrow and every day, they scroll through pages and pages of the same properties again and again. When you see a property, it's either one of two things. It's either you like it or you don't. So in contrast with property filters, you can take a decision on every lead and so once and for all. So the hell yes properties, the one you want to work on, you want to save to your sourcing pipeline. The hell no's properties, you can hide and never see again. And you see, this is why we call this the leads inbox. You shrink your inbox by taking decision on every lead so that tomorrow when new properties become available or fall through or come back on the market, you only see the new stuff. Ultimately, you simply stay on top of things with a few minutes of your time. You will be at the bottom of right move, Zoopla, on the market and all the other portals for that matter. You will have an exhaustive view on your area in such a way that you and only you know everything that ever was for sale in your goldmine area. You will dominate your investment area and again in a very efficient and consistent way. Let's zoom back a bit and see how you can set up your own lead generator in seconds to add a new lead generator we click here add a new lead generator I'm going to go at a reasonable pace here but don't worry uh, when you sign up you've got plenty of support with this first we set up an area so let's say I'm going to go uh, somewhere in Birmingham I'm going to look at all the properties around the radius here I click next and then these work for every strategy so you can choose from a number of pre-selected uh, strategies here HMOs in Article 4 areas. Yes, you remember we digitalize all the Article 4 areas in the country for you, so this is uh, where you benefit from it. Uh, you can find list options by matching uh, properties that are for sale as well as to rent, or properties struggling to sell for less than what they sold. So we compare the current asking price with the last sold price, and we give you the list of all of these. Buy to lets, buy refer refinance, flips, commercial to resi, low EPC landlord properties short leases so what we also call the buy don't refer refinance and many more and uh, if i show you uh, just the advanced filters uh, for your interest uh, so in there we can do things like uh, searching by bathroom counts by reception room counts you know this is great for uh, hmos so if you're looking for a three bed uh, house with two reception rooms you know it's quite likely that we can uh, go in the loft or extend to have a six bed hmo or uh, we can look for uh, the 100 square meter plus properties, uh, you know, to exclude the smaller properties if we are into HMOs as well. Same thing with flat conversions. We can search by uh, EPCs. We can filter to see uh, properties uh, that are in negative equity, as we talked about earlier. So, or if they are in or out of an article for area, if they are owned by uh, companies, uh, if they've got uh, a lease length of a certain time, so great for all the short leases. Uh, we can go specifically to one agent, multiple agents, look at the pictures count and quite a few other things such as, you know, quite, quite, a, quite a bit of really cool keywords. You can decide to include, exclude, show only, uh, etc. Of course, you don't need to use all of the filters if you don't need to. Uh, you can keep things simple using the strategy templates to start with and move into the advanced filters as you become more expert to find deals at property filter. So let's now look at the sourcing pipeline. So if the lead generators is where you quickly check your leads, the sourcing pipeline is where you work. Every step of the pipeline is an action to take where you know what you need to do, you know when you're done, 
and it's all a game about taking the necessary action to transform all these good leads into great deals. And remember, most investors out there, this is your competition, they don't book viewings. On the ones that view properties, very few actually put offers on their property and pretty much nobody follows up. And it's really where property is a numbers game. Success in property is very predictable and this is how you join the top 1%. First of all, you want to value your time, be highly strategic in which viewing you do and which you don't. Then shift your mindset to commit to put an offer on every viewed properties and never miss a follow up. And this is where you transform all those good leads into great deals. When you save properties from your leads inbox or add an off-market property, it's moved to the first stage of the sourcing pipeline, the due diligence stage here. And the aim of the due diligence stage here is not to fall in analysis paralysis, but to ascertain if this lead is going to be worth your time and expenses to go on a viewing or not. So let's look at this one for example. So uh, at this stage, you might want to uh, very quickly stack the deal with the built-in deal calculators as we've seen uh, earlier. You can look at uh, the uh, advanced comparables module we've built for you here, where you can filter your property by number of, number of bedrooms, uh, square meterage uh, range to, be, to find something which is really uh, niche and relevant to what you are looking. And then you can see anything comparable, you know, anything that is currently available for sale, currently sold subject to contract. Then you have the ones that have recently been withdrawn from the market, so you can see what, uh, what sold previously. And then you've got the, all the last sold data. And this is not just the list of properties, how much they sold for and their property type. It's really enriched on property filter because you know the EPC, the square meter edge, the price per square meter. So you can really pull some actual comparables uh, here. And then we've got the same thing with the, the rental properties, what's available and what's uh, recently uh, rent out. Let's go back to our pipeline. Really, this is where property filter starts to turn into a very simple and efficient CRM system for deals. As you push your deal onto the next step, you are prompt to log all your interaction with the property. So we might say things like uh, uh, spoke uh, with uh, Sarah and we talked about, she told me a lot of interesting information about the property um, and we agreed to view the property on, on such a day and, uh, and time, uh, for example. And you'll see here your action and common tile here on the left now becomes your one place of truth uh, for all your notes links to any other documents you'd like to attach uh, from a Google Drive, Google Docs, or Dropbox here, or any, anything you like. This is where you can uh, log uh, calls, uh, viewing notes, agents and vendors names, offers made, etc. all in one place. You can really go as much or as little into the detail here. What you record here should be valuable to you. So that say, uh, if the property sells to someone else tomorrow, then comes back on the market in three months time, in six months time, you want to be able to pick up your note, call the agents or the vendors by their names, so you can fast track the rapport building, relate to a previous uh, conversation you've had so that you can be seen as professional and you can do this at scale. So remember the deals are in the follow-up and most people fail to follow up and miss out on deals all the time because they don't have the right system, they don't have property filter, they fill up spreadsheets, they're drawn in the admins and overwhelmed. And with the follow-ups the hardest thing is to keep things simple and the idea here is we just want to assign a number of days or time where we next, uh, next follow-up and then we stick with it. So here you have it, here are all your deals and the time until your follow-ups, or the ones that, uh, for which you might be behind, like these four properties here. You will see clearly on the property cards here or on the notification up here when follow-ups are due. And then it's just a game or making the phone calls and following up with the agents or the vendors when these are due. So let's say we want to follow up on, on one property. Uh, let's uh, spend a bit more time on this one. We can click on it, add an action. We go back to the CRM pop-up here. We might give the agent a ring and this is where uh, they might tell us uh, that they are uh, not uh, motivated, for example. And then we might say, no worries, you know, we'll follow up with you in, uh, in two weeks, in four weeks, in eight weeks, or at a specific date. And when we add this, remember the, this property, uh, which was on top of the pile here, we'll move all the way, all the way to, to the bottom here. And over time, we'll make its way up the list when they are due. And then it's just a game following up when they, when they are due. So you see, it's very simple to use and it's the difference between most investors out there struggling to get traction and a very predictable success with property filter. Another thing you might have noticed, all those property cards are quite colorful. I don't know you, but I used to have what I call my horrible property spreadsheets. If you're going for it in property, chances are you know exactly what I'm talking about. I would copy paste right move links in the spreadsheets, try to use uh, and then try to use it as a follow-up tool. I've used Trello, I've tried Podio and similar ways as well, but it's the worst admin burden all the time because we always have to open the right move links to know what's happening. And I can still see myself sitting down every Monday evening, opening every right move link, updating the spreadsheets or the system. Then I was doing it twice a week. 
Then I started to pay a VA to do it for me, it was costing me 200, 300 pounds a month. And by the time it was done, it was already out of date and it was never right. In contrast with Property Filter, everything is live. So it's the only CRM system out there that is live with the market. So the price is live with the market. The status and price history is live. And again, you, you can see things quite quickly. Green is available, Amber is all subject to contract, and then your property that are sold or with, withdrawn uh, will be red. All the admin is automated. And whilst we're on the pipeline, I can show you how you can add off-market properties so you can track all your deals in one place. Say you carry a stack of generic letters in your glove box and you post them through people's doors and, and direct properties as you drive by and the phone rings. Just click here on the top right on add off-market properties. And then on the phone, you might have a conversation with the vendor, you know, hey, Bob, thank you for the call. Could you remind me the postcode of your property? And, and here you are uh, typing on property filter. So I just put a, a random postcode I know. And um, oh, okay, great. And, and what was the, the house number? You know, could you, could you remind me? Okay, okay, number 15. Okay, great. And boom, you've been on the phone 20 seconds and you know what's the APC of the property. What's the square meter age or the square footage of the property? What the vendor paid for it uh, previously? And then you can add uh, you can add some notes, you know, uh, about uh, the vendor, etc. Later on, you can add pictures, and then and then you have it. So you're you're adding enough market properties to your uh, to your list and your pipeline, and you can work on it uh, same way as before. And like other things, this off market list would then have linked to all the comparables in the area, all the amenities in the area. So you can really use all of the property filter pipeline for every deal you've got, and then leverage all of the system and the data we make available to you. As a thank you for sticking with me so far, I'll share with you a couple of bonuses. I'll show you a couple of really cool stuff our members are doing with property filters to find deals. The first one is going direct to vendor with withdrawn properties. Once you save a property on your pipeline, it will stay here until you archive it or delete it. There is a really cool niche strategy you can do with properties that have been withdrawn. For most people out there, when the right move link dies out, this is it, no one is looking anymore. On Property Filter, you might see those properties that are withdrawn. And when you ring the agent, they might tell you, oh yes, they don't want to sell anymore. Okay, really interesting. What it really means is that they don't want to sell anymore with them. You've got the full address here. You can uh, send them a letter, knock on the door and do whatever you want uh, to get yourself a direct to vendor deal here. And you see there's an example here where this uh, property was reduced, fell through a couple of times, and then they decide to remove it from the market. You've got everything here. Uh, then we've got uh, another example here where property was reduced quite a bit, uh, and then they removed it from the market, they put it back, and then they remove it again. Again, a really good, uh, really good way to, uh, to go into the vendor, and so on and so on. So always the story is similar, and these people don't have a solution with the open market, and it's quite likely they'll be open to a discussion with you. Next one, which is really cool, are these properties that are back and increased. So this is one of our favorite. Typically, you'll see properties that sold subject to contract at the peak of the market in 2022, when everything was flying off the shelves above the asking price. Now, some of these uh, sales are falling through and coming back on the market. Interestingly, some of these are put back on the market at an increased price, probably at the price they accepted uh, you know, the offer they accepted back in 2022. This shows the total disconnect with the reality uh, of the market and the shift we have seen from the seller's market and the very solid buyer's market we are in right now. And you guessed it, uh, this doesn't sell at the current price. So it's really cool because you can approach the agent and say something like this, you know, so, oh, I'm pretty sure I've seen this property for sale at uh, 240. Uh, 240,000 back in uh, February last year. What's changed as the market got any better? And the agent knows very well and all too well where the market is right now. So more often than not, they will come back to you saying, oh, well, you know, I'm sure they'll accept 240 or, you know, somewhere in the middle to get things moving. So in one conversation, you can completely reposition the whole asking price. And remember, this is just the starting point. Once we've agreed to reduce the price once, the door is open. So this works really well. And we've got plenty of these uh, in the system. So with this year where there's a 30,000 pound difference, difference uh, between the asking price. We've got another one here with uh, 20k difference. We've got another one here with uh, 240, 265, 25k and on and on. And another one that works really well are those properties that are listed with multiple agents. You can set up specific lead generators just to target these but equally you'll find a lot of these uh, throughout property filter within your lead generators that are listed with multiple agents. And my favorites are the ones where properties were listed with an agent previously that failed to sell the property, lost the instruction, and not relisted with a new agent. So let's see a couple of examples I've put aside for, for you. Uh, so in this case, we've got uh, one agent here that's been listed the property since uh, January last year, and then a previous agent that failed to sell the property, listing the property in September the year before. So to most people out there scrolling, 
all they know is that this property is currently available with the current agent. But what you can see on property filter is that before that, it failed to sell with another agent. And sometimes with uh, if it's two agents, three agents or more involved. Here's another example. Again, you've got your two listings here and then another one and the list goes on and on. And the agents can be a bit funny sometimes when they lose an instruction, it's never going to be their fault, right? So you can go and speak with the previous agents and they will tell you everything about the property. The vendor this, the vendor that, the property this, the property that. They'll tell you everything you need to know about the property. And when you go back to the current agent listing the property, you might know more than them. So these were just three examples of what people do uh, with property filters to find deals and motivated sellers. There are lots of things like that you can do to identify motivated sellers, leverage the insight and information you get exclusively from property filter and have an endless supply of deals. And we are only just getting started. Every bit of revenue we get, we reinvest in Property Filter. We reinvest in your success and we continue to improve your experience so you always access the latest to find your next deal in a very predictable way. Imagine what you will be able to achieve with an endless supply of deals. I trust you enjoyed the demo, that you see the incredible value this means for your business and your life. It will save you hundreds of pounds on a daily basis, will get your time back and actually find your deals like nothing else. Click on the button below, see what's included in your offer. I'm sure it will be a no-brainer for you. The truth is, if you really want to achieve your property goals, you can't afford not to have Property Filter on your team. Click the button below. I look forward to working with you and seeing everything you can achieve once you're set up on Property Filter.